Good morning and welcome back. We often think of the winter bringing in the blues, but loneliest, loneliness knows no season. Yeah, joining us this morning to discuss the problem from Gutterson Health System is Shana Schertz. Shana, uh, when we think of loneliness, what exactly do we mean? Yeah, so loneliness does not necessarily mean being alone. We can take time for ourselves um, and be alone in a quiet space without being lonely. Loneliness is more um, be feeling isolated, feeling alone, feeling really empty, empty inside. And how easy is it to treat loneliness? How do people combat this? So there are a lot of things that you can do on your own to try to combat loneliness. Um, get moving. We always hear about exercise being great for those feel-good chemicals in our brain. So get moving, but I always like to say do something that you enjoy, whether that's gardening, walking, um, even shopping. Recognize and express yourself. So recognize why you're feeling lonely and write that down. Get those feelings out on paper. Just even saying them out loud is a great thing that one can do. Um, keep busy. Just find a hobby. Just instead of going home at night from work and maybe sitting there and thinking about how lonely you are, get busy, get moving, and um, really get involved, whether that be at work, in the community. Um, try to find something to kind of keep your mind active and busy. Yeah, and that may be a little easier to do in the summer months than we you know, think of in the winter when it's, it's so hard to get out and active and there's not as much going on. But when, do we, when does it cross over? When does it become more than just loneliness? How do we recognize those signs? Yeah, that's a great question. So if you are feeling lonely and you're doing everything you can to kind of combat those, so you're getting out, you're getting um, out amongst people, you're moving, and you're just feeling really down and empty, um, that can be signs of depression. So that's when you really want to talk to family, talk to your health care provider, and be honest and open with them about your feelings. Yeah, like you said, you can spend time alone and still right. uh, not have to worry about loneliness. But, but again, if it becomes uh, something that you can't deal with, right. it's good to talk to the medical professional. Shana, we thank you for joining us this morning uh, for this uh, discussion on loneliness. Thanks. Ten minutes before seven o'clock, we'll be right back uh, with the Check of Your Day Planner Outlook next.